Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, third video. We're going to have a look at whether the 10 to 14 days for today's third video date um, will take us to the 25th of uh, September and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Exceded GFS Ensembles, very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that will get us uh, into October. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video say was our 6am uh, upload and we've released the European Outlook as well. So please check out those two videos if you'd like to see that. Please like, share, subscribe on the videos and thank you so much everyone for doing that. Right, so we're going to start off in the tropical Atlantic. We have got a tropical storm now, Fiona. Uh, Thomas Storm Fiona is currently giving maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour with a minimum central pressure of 1,002 millibars. And Fiona is moving westwards at 13 miles per hour. Clicking on Fiona, going here, we can see that uh, this is going to retain tropical storm status through to the uh, early part of next week. So the current position is just there. It's going to head in that direction to Puerto Rico uh, and then on to the Dominican Republic as a tropical storm. What happens to it after then remains to be seen. Uh, it is at that point still a tropical storm. It will still be with over Still, it will still be over uh, warm tropical uh, waters. So, will that eventually power up into a hurricane as it heads out into the Atlantic, or maybe it'll go in that direction? Uh, possibly, it could go in that direction. You know, it's all up the grab. So, ultimately, what's going to happen with Fiona? I have to wait and see. But, at, but at the moment, it's going to be a tropical storm by the look of it uh, through uh, the weekend and into the beginning of next week. We'll be keeping a close eye on Fiona. Of course, searching temperature is currently standing at 17.1, so it's continuing uh, to decline. That is uh, 3.5 degrees above average. That is provisional to yesterday to the 14th. That will probably go uh, under uh, 17 degrees when it updates tomorrow, I would have thought, and will carry on dropping through to the early part of next week. So I'd imagine by the sort of middle of next week, uh, we'll probably see that in the low to mid 16s, I would have thought. And then um, where where we go after that, of course, will be uh, will remain to be seen. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Nottingham. We're starting off below average at the moment. We're going to keep the upper air temperature below average through the rest of the week and into the weekend as well. Early next week, we'll see the upper air temperatures. Uh, begin to stage uh, a recovery, only back to average, though, not becoming particularly warm, but the upper air temperatures do sort of return back to the long-term 30-year average as we go into the final week of September. Precipitation-wise, going to be lots of dry weather over the next week, 10 days, and then it will gradually start getting more and settle. So it does also the last uh, week, maybe the last five days or so, uh, but September could actually turn rather unsettled once again. But that is extending range, and so it's within the unreliable time frame of a GFS and its uh, ensembles. Temperature anomalies from the 15th to the 23rd of September are going to be a little bit below average across most parts of the country. And precipitation anomalies from the 15th to the 23rd of September are still drier than normal in a dry week to come. Let's move a map. Latest wind flow map from EarthNorthSchool.net shows up with pulling in northerly wind today. If we push this down, you can see that uh, this is a long fetch northerly with the air originating from Svalbard and that sort of area and moving down the uh, North Sea. So um, that's the reason that the temperature is becoming ever cooler over the next few days. It's how it's good. This is how the latest you can make your right during midnight on Sunday. High pressure begin to edge in from off the Atlantic, turning things uh, drier. But it will still be quite cool, pulling northerly winds into that area of high pressure. Early next week, we're under the area of high pressure. Um, bring lots of dry weather. Turn a bit warmer as well as we just pull into the south southwest. But perhaps turning wet and windy by uh, the end of next week. This gets us to midnight on Thursday, 22nd. The 22nd of September, a deep area of low pressure then coming in from off the Atlantic. So maybe starting to turn a little bit wet and windy by that point. Icon looks like that. So uh, again, high pressure is ridging in from the west over the next few days, but we're pulling these 
pull in these cool northerly winds to the eastern side of that area of high pressure. And then early next week, high pressure dominates weather over the top of the country, bringing lots of dry but quite chilly conditions until eventually by uh, this time next week, high pressure starts to slip toward Germany. And lower pressure begins to come into the northwest, possibly bringing some outbreaks of rain. Winds will turn into the south southwest with that, and so it will start to get milder or warmer through the uh, middle part of next week. GFS midnight run uh, once more with high pressure bridging in front of the Atlantic through the early part of next week. That's quite a cool ridge, particularly so at night. Uh, as you go into the middle of the week, the high pressure centres a little bit more to our south. That allows warmer air to start pushing into that area of high pressure from off the Atlantic. By the end of next week, it starts to turn rather wetter and windy, especially so for the north and west. But in the south, we still keep the ridge going bring quite a bit of dry weather through uh, to there. Maybe it starts to turn properly unsettled in a more extreme range with the GFS Big Night Run, uh, proper Atlantic flow beginning to establish, especially for the north and west, beginning to turn wet and windy. We do see the remains of a uh, tropical storm or outdoor hurricane involved in that on the 26th September. There you see it just on the far left of the screen. That possibly is Fiona. Um, I'm not sure. And then we see that at low pressure, that is remains of that feature, uh, pushing into the North Atlantic by 27th of September. The GFS 6Z, again, with the high pressure building through the uh, west of Europe through the early part of next week, bringing lots of dry, but probably quite true weather, especially so at night by day. Uh, temperatures will start to get a bit warmer, especially later on next week as the wind pulls into the south southwest heading up toward day 10 high pressures maintained over top of the country it brings loads of dry weather winds will be in from the east of the northeast so it could be a little bit on the cool side uh, with that but uh, again lots of dry uh dry fine weather with the gfs 6 z um and that goes on right way up to the very end of it actually so uh, gfs 6 said much more settled compared to the midnight run if you're enjoying the video then please can you like share subscribe thank you so much everybody for doing that we are getting ourselves ever closer to uh, 14.5k uh, now so thank you so much to all of you for all of the support GM, uh, again, with the high pressure building in from off the Atlantic through the uh, weekend and the open of next week. It starts off as a cool ridge, becomes a milder ridge, a warmer ridge, as you bring up like southwest sea flow into that area of high pressure. And then it starts to turn more unsettled as we head towards day uh, 8, 9, 10 with low pressure in off the Atlantic being showers or maybe longer spells of rain. And then the ECM at WF. Uh, once more, with high pressure building in across the west of Europe through the early part of next week, starts off as a cool ridge, becomes a warmer ridge as wind gets into the south southwest by the middle of next week. But low pressure begins to head in from off the Atlantic, and uh, the, the ECM turns increasingly unsettled and rather cool actually as we go up to uh, like day 10. So we finish up by day 10 under a trough of low pressure there. Uh, and uh, um, we are putting some quite cool air into that trough as well from the north. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Showers in the east at the moment, but most places are going to be dry over the next few days with an anti-cyclonic influence. By the time we get through to middle next week, uh, it starts to turn a bit more unsettled, particularly so to the north and west. It's actually quite wet there uh, across parts of England and Wales. That would be very useful rain through... Um, you know, uh, through uh, through the end of next week and into the uh, final weekend of September. Uh, and then we're into like a showery scenario with that trough of low pressure by day 10. Uh, Share so 2 and then we're done. So it's the 500 millibar height zone is breaking down into weekly periods. The first week period takes from the 15th 21st of September. The coming week has a mid-Atlantic ridge extending to Greenland and Iceland with a trough of low pressure across the northern Europe. And winds are in from a cool northerly direction. A bit showering in the east, but otherwise main dry. Week 2 will be the 22nd, 28th of September with high pressure again blocking from Greenland to Scandinavia. Low pressure is to our south. Winds are coming in from an easterly direction with that. So more unsettled and, um, or rather unsettled and uh, showery, especially so for the south. Week three, it's going to be the 29th of September, 5th of October. High pressure then starts to build across western parts of Europe. So that will turn things warmer as the wind pulls up from southwest and will turn things more settled as well. And that carries on into week four, actually, which is the sick. It's the 12th of October, high pressure being dominating across Western Europe, and that will bring a lot of dry and pretty warm weather with it. 
And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave you like, share, subscribe. And thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Don't forget to tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. Whoops. And uh, that would be amazing if you can do that. Right, so just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. We'll have a 6 a.m. upload. We'll have Jeremy Friday. And we'll have a 10 to 14 day as well. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But uh, for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.